Hey everyone, I'm Jack. I'm Tangie. Uh, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. And on this video, just another house update, something we're very excited about because we're, we're almost there. Yeah, the we're light is at the end of the tunnel. Finally. So if you've been following us through this whole journey from day one of when our basement wall collapsed and we've just been going through, you know, trying to rebuild everything, it's it's been crazy, um, but it's also, you know, we've met some wonderful people and just seen how God has blessed us throughout this whole process. So this has definitely been a huge journey for us and uh, we appreciate all of you that has been following us and watching as we've been rebuilding our basement wall, getting everything put back together. And so let's show you where we're at at this point. Just a recap, looking back, here they are finishing up the basement wall that did collapse. And this time when the wall was rebuilt, we made sure that it uh, was properly built with rebar, with concrete. Here's the, the concrete pump truck is pumping concrete into it. And we just wanted to make sure that, you know, if we're gonna live back in this house, we just, we want to feel safe and sound and, and know that everything is, is going to be very strong and very sturdy um, from this point forward. Uh, from that point, um, backfield with, with drain tile and gravel and tried to make sure that there was proper drainage around the house. Uh, here we're just putting in the gravel and uh, we have drain tiles in this as well. So once the wall was rebuilt and everything put back in place and the structure was stable, we could actually move in it and live in it now. But if you look at the back of the house here, it has no brick. To re-brick it was going to be very expensive. Also, it's not going to match the rest of the brick on the house. So what do we do to make it look good? Um, something we always wanted to do when we first moved in was to, to add on a addition or a sunroom or a bonus room well we decided um, let's go ahead and do this since the demolition was already done we went and got a loan borrowed the money and the building uh, started coming up and here you're seeing the progress and it's been coming along very nicely we've got a great builder that's been working with us and helping us out along the way Here's a view from inside, and what we decided to do was to actually split this up into two rooms. Uh, one is going to be uh, kind of our bonus room, sun room, um, you know, extra den. But uh, this part here where they're putting the drywall in is going to be an office, mostly for Tangi, so she can have her own office space and, and work. Um, and then the other part is not going to have drywall in it. It's going to have some very beautiful shiplap and uh, a pine ceiling and so we'll show you them putting this stuff up the kitchen and this is a window that is now leading into Tangie's new office where she can work and then as we walk through here again still under construction but this is what we're most excited about our new sunroom and it's coming along quite nicely and then if you look over here we took out our back doors or French doors that would have gone out onto our back deck and that will go into the house, back into the living room. And here, Tangie is painting her new office. She loves the colors that she has picked out. And uh, like also on the back of the house, 
We've tied in uh, a little bit of brick with some siding to tie into the new uh, addition. And here we're putting the gutters on and getting that finished up as well. Inside, we did have to rip up all the old flooring. Um, this was something that needed to be done because it was all warped and bent uh, from the house shaking and moving when everything underneath uh, collapsed in. And so uh, we're taking this old flooring out. We picked out some, some real beautiful flooring that we, that we had already put in our bedrooms, but we were hoping one day to maybe finish the house with. Well, now's the time to do it. Here's what it looked like. And here's what it looks like now. So it's been finished. Still dirty from construction, but we love it. We love it, we love it, we love it, we love it. How do we feel about it? We love it. <laughs> she likes it. Yes. Yes, it is Tangy approved. And so yes, this is awesome. And most of you know when we do our Monday Night Lives, the kitchen look, we do it from this table here. And look at that. That looks so different, but so much better. I think it really, it, it, it pulls together that, that farmhouse look that we like. It's like rustic and it looks awesome. And it like, it, I don't know, it makes the room feel bigger and look bigger. But at the same time, it just feels warm and lived in. Saying, it's me being all HGTV. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this uh, house update, and that's all we've got for you guys today. Until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. And check the uh, link down below for our shirt. So anyway, that's it. God bless you all. We'll catch you in the next one.